back. This is JC Sakon. It's time for Inspiration Vibe. They like what the Word of God says in John chapter 1, verse 8 and 18. And before I read that, you know, today we're asking you, we want to know, do you know the reason why Jesus came? But while I say, my doing, don't worry. Leo, no, fair, your knowledge. I hope, you, I hope you have your pen and your notebook because I want you to write this down and you're going to read it later on because in it deep, Sana. In meat, but I'll try to break it down to be as easy as possible. Reason number one, Jesus came on earth as a man to reveal God to us. He came with a, now a deeper, a better revelation of who God was. He wanted to further reveal God to us. Reason, uh, reason number one, he wanted to reveal, God wanted to reveal further himself to us because the revelation in the old testament because we meet jesus in the new testament in that okay he's also in the old testament but but that revelation was not complete was not enough if you meet god in the in genesis 1 1 in the beginning god we we, we meet god as a word we meet god as a, as a, as a sound you know, we meet God, even in, when we meet God with Abraham, we meet God as an angel, the angel of the Lord. The angel of the Lord used to come in different forms, as a voice, as a wind, as an angel. But in New Testament, now we meet God himself as a man to further reveal who this God was. All right. So in, in, Genesis, in John, Chapter 1, verse 18 says, No one has seen God at any time. Huh? The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him a voice in the wilderness. No one has seen God at any time. So when God came as a man, he wanted to reveal himself. Here I am, Tara. Mimi do you. I know in the Old Testament I used to come as, a, as an angel, but here I am. So when even in the Old Testament, when, when God sent Moses to, to Egypt, Moses was like, see, I said, go and tell them I am that I am. I'm trying to bring this point, you know, I am God, uh, I am the provider, I am the healer, I am I'm the one that sees you. All these dimensions, all these attributes that we met in the Old Testament, Zico all wrapped up in this person, Jesus. So when Jesus came, he came as that friend, that friend Abraham met. You know, God called Abraham my friend. Can I hide this thing for my friend Abraham? Jesus was the friend that we were looking for. Jesus was the friend, the God, our friend. Even when Lazarus died, he said, my friend Lazarus has slept. Now Jesus is that friend that we were hearing about in Old Testament. Now he is here in the New Testament. Alikuwa mekuja kujirivili. Ni kama tu likuwa nasikenda tu stories ya mse, eh, hu mse alidu, hu mse alidu. Na finally, hu mse mwenye na show up. Now that is exactly what Jesus came as a man. Another point, he came as a man just to reveal, to further explain himself. Ni kama alikuwa anakuja kuji explain to us. I'm trying to break it down in a way that we can all understand. <laughs> Jesus came because he wanted to explain God to humanity, who God was really was. And you can read that in, uh, in John chapter 14, verse 7, to all the way to 11. But I'm going to read only one verse because of time. Sema, if you had known me, you would have known my father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. But if you see me, you see God. If you, you, you can even, those attributes you've heard about God, God is love. If you don't see love in me, I'm not God. But because love is in me, I'm the God, the God you've been praying to. He came to explain God to humanity. He came to reveal further revelation. Eh? And, to, and to reveal more about God through himself. That's why God came. This is a series. This is a series, guys. So I'm going to leave it at that. Because next week, we also look at more reasons why Jesus came as a man. It's a whole theology. Deep, deep stuff. So you're going to, it's good to have your pen and your notebook. 
as we continue on this series, all right? I'm going to leave it at that. And next week, next week is interesting. Jesus came to reveal his promises, to reveal the promises of God to us, to humanity. Now, what are these promises? We're going to look at these promises next Sunday, same time, here on JC Circle. All right? Hallelujah. Praise yep. Jesus. Juni festivity. Mdini tumia leo sadaka. Nini watu wa mungu? Namba doya. But anyway, I'm just